Yo, what's the word? So, we got Rallo in the news again, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday, we talked about him, you know what I'm saying, sending them words to Big Meech, you know, sending a strong message. Today, we got Block 125, and um, y'all know his situation, like, you know what I'm saying, Block 125, you know who he is. Shit, he, he just telling it like he said, you know, he from out there, and um, y'all know who he had beef with, you know. Young Thug and Newman had beef with on um, Rallo, and this usually this is what Rallo was talking about. Actually, the beef with Block One Two Five, you know what I'm saying? And um, he basically saying how it's these guys on the internet, and he referring to Rallo. He's saying that Rallo is on the internet is comparing himself to Big Meech. He said y'all can't do that. If you can't say that you the boss and you got twenty cars, twenty Ferraris, and Lambos. And your crew riding around with 20 Ferraris and Lambos. He said, ain't nobody did that but Meech. His people was riding around like that. It wasn't no, you know, Big Meech, he got 20 Ferraris. You know what I'm saying? Lil Joe, he got motherfucking one Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? Batman, he got one Bentley. You know what I'm saying? They all had a bunch of shit. Houses, cars. You know, and that, that's probably why Meech gonna probably be forever straight. Because I'm pretty sure everybody... Didn't go down on that Rico. People who he made millionaires. You know what I'm saying? Who's still out here shaking and moving. Rather they had got out the game and invested their money into, you know what I'm saying, the legal structure. And now they having it. You know what I'm saying? Some of them even got record labels. Like I was listening to the Sosa interview. And he was talking about the guy that that um, that um produced and write for, you know, a lot of big artists and shit out of L.A. And they started that label in like 2000. You know, using some of their money from way back then, you know, because they've been having it, bro. These motherfuckers talking about Metro Ton. They talking about you getting 10,000, 10,000 keys or some shit, 10,000 keys for the year or something. But you're going to need like two loads of that because you're doing over 2,000, 2,500 keys a month. Like these guys was really big time, man. Like, you know, I don't know too many people like that. I'm not going to lie to you. I knew some people who were shaking and moving, probably maybe 10, 50, 10 to 50 or some shit, but thousands, bro, that's a different level. And the streets going to know because the way you going to be moving around, bro, you niggas going to be moving around like the president. It's going to be like, you know how like the old saying is, you know, people getting money in the neighborhood. Now the hood going to go against them. They going to be trying to take them down and shit like that. Well, if you move in that type of way, bro, and you getting people paid like that. The hood gonna be trying to protect you all means. That's, I'm talking about niggas are probably gonna jump in front of bullets. They mama gonna get, you know what I'm saying? They mama gonna fucking get down on some of these dudes who going against you. You know what I'm saying? They're going out, get down on their own sons type shit. You feel me? If you follow what I'm saying, like this is the type of stuff that's what happen. But um, I'm gonna play this footage. Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know. But it's it's clear, you know what I'm saying? It's clear who bro talking about. He talking about Rallo. And it makes and it makes a lot of sense, you know what I'm saying, that he's saying this about Rallo. Some people say Rallo was lying about his run and how much money he was getting. You know, I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know if Rallo was getting that paper like that, that chicken like that. But then again, he probably was. He definitely probably was, bro. Definitely probably was. But I'm going to play that snippet and I'm going to play that post. That uh, Rallo had put up as well. It'll be on the end of the video about um, him saying what he said about Big Meech and what Big Meech need to do and him comparing himself to Big Meech. You know, Rallo definitely put his team on, but come on, bro. Them niggas, like right now, right now out there, all them cars and shit like that, them Rallo cars, bro. You can tell. You know what I'm saying? Them all, that's all Rallo shit. You know what I'm saying? Them guys ain't iced up like that nigga out there. I think the one dude, Goldmouth, is. But Goldmouth, you know, he got his own shake in the movement. But I'm talking about far as the ox, the, 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 you know what I'm saying, the little bros, the, you know what I'm saying, his peers. Is they living like that? You know what I'm saying? Even today, because back then we seen the same shit. But um, y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what you think, man. It's definitely the Cloud Chaser TV. Now, nigga, who crew around, just like the boss.
If you ain't have 20 lounge, 20 Rolls Royce, 20 Mercedes, 20 Ferrari, we ain't got to say 20, but when your whole crew looking like you, then you can compare yourself to a nigga like me. You see what I'm saying? Boy, the street nigga, you got a free route nigga that do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who, who doing that shit. Ain't nobody doing that but the little one. But other than that, man, if you ain't doing that, What's the word, gang? So, Rallo got a message for Big Meech. And, um, I guess he's responding to some of the rumors that's been out in regards to the Cuffy situation. I did a little bit of research on that. And, um, I'm waiting to get these transcripts that, uh, Mickey Truth was talking about. But apparently, Mickey Truth say, if you look inside the transcripts, the feds confirmed that Big Meech didn't know anything about what the girl Tammy was doing when she was, you know, doing a third-party snitch cooperation with the feds so you know that's still up in the air they still gonna look into that you know um me personally you know big me story alone that shit probably worth a billion dollars you know because think about it they put it in motion pictures it go to the movies that movie definitely gonna do 500 million to a billion in sales come on think about american gangster but this american gangster of our time a lot of these stories are before we were even like a lot of us like you know not a lot of us but you know a lot of people that's intrigued with this culture you know before they was even alive or they was young you know very young so you know now you got the story like big meech just recent you know what i'm saying within the past couple of decades you know his story he made millions of dollars but uh rallo got this message he say the streets is dead og get this legal money and stay out these f niggas way don't even worry about a F nigga. Say most of these so-called street dudes ain't even made a million out the dope game, but always talk street shit. Now, I want y'all to get in the comments and give me your opinion on that because that is something to say. You know, Rallo, he's on record for making millions out the dope game as well as, you know, being incarcerated for it, you know, coming home and, Still going back to his community, trying to rebuild what he what he had started building before he got locked up, which is credit to him because a lot of people, once they get hit by the streets, like as far as go to jail or, you know, certain people might not be riding with them or people cooperating on them. A lot of times they turn their back on the streets when they get out and they, they be like, you know, I ain't rocking with them guys. I ain't rocking with that neighborhood no more. They did me bogus. So I know it's different aspects of it, but... um. Rallo definitely a stand-up dude for doing that, I think. You know, going back to his neighborhood and trying to build what he had started building before he got locked up. Now, Big Meech, you know, we haven't heard much about Big Meech. We seen the picture go viral yesterday, him getting a fresh cut by the barber. And the barber took a um, picture with him, you know. Um, I think that um, Big Meech got a bright future ahead of him. That's for sure. You know, and as uh, far as the streets... He don't really need to even dabble into the streets. He could probably even become a motivational speaker and get 20, 30, 40, 50,000 a show. You know, just going around the country motivating people. Because I'll go see it. I'll go see what he's talking about. Because whether you come from the streets or you know somebody close to you that was in the streets, you know, a lot of people can relate to it, especially if you're here in America. You know, because um, being brown, black, you know, this 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 type of stuff just comes with it. You know what I'm saying? It becomes a lifestyle. It's a way to get about the streets. But uh, Big Meech, salute to him. He's home. Um, right now, I think he's spending time with family, you know? That's probably what it is. Spending a lot of time with family, just adjusting. Remember, our phone didn't even exist. You know what I'm saying? And back then, shit, we had, like, what, MySpace? We got all these social media platforms now. You know, everything moving in seconds. You know, just adjusting to that, it's probably crazy. Even though he was in the feds, I wouldn't be surprised if he had an iPhone in that damn federal penitentiary. He big meech, you know. Um, but I wonder, who do you think hit him, though, hit his hand, though, like far as rappers? Because I know for a fact, 